Are there aliens among us? It's a question being asked more and more these days from Congress to the military to foreign governments. And now NASA is taking a closer look too. Here's NBC's Gotti Schwartz. Whether you're a believer or not, the question of aliens on Earth is here and now. NASA, the agency most associated with space exploration, is entered the UFO fray. I personally believe in a universe that is so vast that could there be a replication of life on Earth elsewhere? Of course I believe that. The agency releasing a 36-page report Thursday on unidentified anomalous phenomena, or UAP. Their conclusion, there's no proof aliens exist, but they might. NASA saying UAP presents a unique scientific opportunity and that the agency should play an essential role in studying the subject. That report coming directly on the heels of a sensational revelation in Mexico. No estamos solos en este vasto universo. Supposed ancient alien bodies. Jaime Mausan, a self-described UFOologist, revealing two figures to the Mexican Congress claiming they were not of this earth. But Mausan has made unfounded claims in the past that turned out to be hoaxes. So in the world of UFO and UAP experts, there's some skepticism. This past July, former intelligence officer Major David Grush testified in front of Congress that the U.S. is concealing a long-standing UFO program. I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. The Pentagon's UFO office has denied Grush's claims, but lawmakers are looking for answers. Do you believe UAPs pose a potential threat to our national security? Yes. <laughs> All of this talk of what else might be out there is reducing the UFO stigma. More folks are coming forward, including New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who recently talked about a UFO encounter he says he had years ago on the show Hard Knocks. When we heard the sound and we saw this tremendously large object moving through the sky. And if the truth is somewhere out there, now it's official, NASA is on the case too.